Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and I'm joined today by Tom Matson, who is an international best-selling author, speaker, and the go-to expert for authority entrepreneurs who want to build seven and eight-figure businesses. So, Tom, hello, and a very warm welcome to today's episode. Well, I'm so excited. It's time for the Double Tom Show, or Tom Squared. So, if there's any Toms listening in, be sure to send us an email. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. And whereabouts are you in the world right now? I am on a little island just outside of Vancouver, one of the prettiest cities in the world. The island we live on is the size of Manhattan, but instead of 13 million people, it has 13 million trees and about 3,000 people. So it's pretty nice. Incredible. And let me get onto the subject of Tom then. So amazingly, Tom has started 89 businesses and they're seven to eight figures plus. And more importantly, his personal coaching clients have generated over 100 million in sales in dozens of industries. The title for today's episode is how to get nine times the prospects to raise their hands and ask for more details. And Tom's going to try and show us how to do that in just seven minutes. So <laughs> no pressure. Tom, good luck. Your question number one is who are your ideal clients? In our case, our ideal clients are speakers, authors, influencers, business coaches, and consultants. So we have five target audiences across our eight divisions. Fantastic. And if we look across all of those target audiences, what is typically the biggest challenge that they face? Oh, that's easy. And that extends to many other audiences too. Mm -hmm. I've been an entrepreneur for over 37 years and the answer has always been the same. Um, they describe it as more clients, more prospects, more sales. Um, but you know, I, basically what I've learned is most of them don't have a system for screening, qualifying and awarding clients. And so they want more clients. They think that's the solution, but the solution is actually a, a system to do that and a way to do it. So they're attracting the right clients and they're rejecting the wrong clients. And then life is a lot more fun <laughs> and you have a lot more influence, a lot more impact. And what a surprise, a lot more income. Yeah, fantastic. And I guess, like you said, then it's not just qualifying, it's actually disqualifying the clients that you don't want to work with as well. Totally. You screening and qualifying is an essential part. If you're going to be an authority, you need to be saying no as much as you're saying yes to the wrong people, right? You say no yeah. to the wrong people, yeah. say yes to the right people. Got it. And if you haven't got this in place as a entrepreneur or business owner, what impact does that typically have on the business? Uh, inconsistent cash flow. Inconsistent mm -hmm. cash flow. You spike up, you get some clients, you're busy servicing the clients, you're helping them out, and then a few of them leave and peter off and they're done. And all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I go to the BNI meeting or the chamber <laughs> meeting, or well, I gotta start getting some clients. And then you start running what we love to call Facebook philanthropy, right? Where you're yep. donating money to Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, by the way, <laughs> he doesn't need any more, he's got a lot. No. Um, and yep. you know, you're trying all these strategies or tactics really to recoup, and then you get a bunch more clients if you, if you stumble mm -hmm. across that or you know what you're doing. And then you get busy doing that and you go through that same cycle up and down, up and down. And the cycle of inconsistent cash flow is the thing that drives established authorities crazy. Of course, new authorities, they're not even getting off the ground. I mean, the, uh, the average uh, business coach makes 51,000 a year US. You know, I live in Vancouver, you can't buy a house for less than 1.2 million. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you'd have to have 12 business coaches living in the house and you still wouldn't qualify for a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, part of the problem with newer businesses is they don't even get off the ground and go from a hobby to a business. And yep. for the existing businesses, it's that inconsistent roller coaster cash flow. Got it. Thank you. Okay. So, thinking no, about I know that, that we've triggered a bunch of people who are listening in already. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> don't worry. We'll give you some <laughs> solutions. Hang in there. We got six more minutes left. And that leads us on to the next question, which is what is one valuable piece of advice that you might give to somebody to really help them solve that problem of inconsistent cash flow? Well, the first thing is without a doubt, be really, really clear on your, on your target market. We call it your ideal target market. Some people call yep. it your avatar. I don't like that term because it's kind of like a play made up a fantasy term, mm -hmm. right fit client. I love that one. Yeah. <clears throat> right fit client. So you got to be clear on that. And then the second thing for anyone who's selling knowledge, wisdom, authority, experience, you should be offering a guarantee linked to your results. Mm -hmm. You should be offering a guarantee that's linked towards your result. My mentor, Jay Abraham called it risk reversal. And so yeah. I started doing this some 23 years ago, and it's been the single biggest factor 
that number one's never allowed me to have less than a six figure year ever over that period of time. And I've had lots of ups and downs where I should have. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely should have. But you know, by, by having a strong risk reversal, you shift the risk from your prospect shoulders to your shoulders. And it makes it way easier to attract the right people. It makes it way easier to sell or what we call screen qualify and award. Yeah. And it makes it a lot more fun. Plus, mm -hmm. frankly, you get around the biggest problem that most people have. They're really good at what they do, but they're not really good at selling what they do. And when you have a strong risk reversal, you can say things like, you know, Tom, we're so confident about our million dollar book launch program that we literally guarantee 75% of your payments to results. Fantastic. And when yeah. people hear that, they go, what do you mean? Like, how does that work? And then you have a real engaging conversation rather than you chasing someone saying, hey, Tom, yeah. Want to buy a book launch program? Hey, Tom, want to buy a book launch program? You know, yeah. you're not supposed to get seven no's before you stop pitching them. Yeah, no, that's not for high ticket. Yeah, for high ticket it. for meaningful decisions. You, it's a whole different approach that works best. And we find the key piece behind that is having that strategic risk reversal offer yep. or, you know, guarantee on steroids. Fantastic. And you I'm sure steroids during to... COVID time. I don't know if we can say that. And we probably does take that out, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll skip that, B. We'll take it out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure you've got a ton of people that you can help who have got these challenges. So could you let me know what is one valuable free resource that you could share to really help people solve that problem? Well, we, we because we like to over deliver, we've got two. One yep. is a link to a document where we explain this strategy of how you can do it. Because I'm sure anyone tuning in, the first reaction is, yeah, but I can't guarantee results. How do I do that? I can't guarantee if my client will listen. I can't guarantee if mm -hmm. they'll do this. Yes, you can. You just need to follow a process, a proven method. So nine times the prospects.com, write it all out, all one word, nine times the prospects.com link will be in the show notes. I am positive mm -hmm. and you will yep. get that. And then more importantly, if you are serious about making a real income, you need to have a high ticket program that guarantees results for your clients. So you can yep. make real revenue and give real impact to them. And we're so committed to this about a year and a half ago, we decided to start giving away our most popular program. It's a $10,000 program with accountability partners and coaches and support and training and knowledge and skills for you to do exactly that in four months, create blueprint, validate and sell your first or your next high ticket program. And we're giving away as a scholarship today in the show notes, you guys will see the link down below. Amazing. Thank you so much, Tom. I'll definitely put that in the link because I'm sure that's a huge value for a lot of people listening to this episode. You're welcome. And people are going to listen to that and go, what do you mean? An actual full scholarship for $10,000? Well, there is a catch. You have to qualify. Mm -hmm. Right now, about 81% of the people that apply are accepted. So if you have zero authority and no desire to build it, you won't be accepted. If you have yeah. no time to put towards the project, you won't be accepted because you're just going to waste our coach's time. Um, and so, but other than that, virtually everyone gets accepted and it's awesome. We love it. We're happy to give it away. Mm -hmm. It's been our give back strategy during COVID. We've given away over $5 million worth of scholarships Wow! and hopefully another 5 million to come this year. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that. And question number six is slightly off topic now, which is what would you say is your greatest failure that you've ever made either in life or business? And what did you learn from it? Oh, I've got a lot of those. We need another seven mm -hmm. minutes to cover those, but I'll just pick <laughs> one. Um, yeah. I took a company public on the Toronto stock exchange and then managed to take a $21 million IPO and turn it into 10 million in debt in six easy months. Wow, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, yes, it was epic. <laughs> it was an epic fail, it's, it's be a whole yeah. book on its own, but it was a, an epic fail. Big lesson, don't hire sharks, only hire yeah. dolphins, you're a dolphin. Fantastic, thank you very much for that. And the last question from me today is, what is one question that I should have asked you that will also bring great value to this audience? Oh, man, oh, man, what's the price of Bitcoin going to be in the next 90 days? You know, <laughs> yeah. fortune telling, fortune telling. I, fortune telling. I, the challenge with questions like that is they take time to dig into those. Yeah. And while I appreciate that for sure, I think we all have wisdom and knowledge to share. Uh, and part of the, what I like about your format, Tom, is that you focus it down to some quick bits, help someone out and move on. And so I like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask anything else. In this format, I think okay. you did a great job. Perfect. We'll take that. Well, on that note then, Tom, thank you so much again for your time today and for sharing such great value with our audience. Cheers.